Hello, and welcome back to another video on Discord.py Rewrite. Um, today I'll be going over embeds and how they work. Uh, before we get started, um, you're going to need Discord.py installed using pip and then a text editor. editor. I would uh, definitely strongly recommend uh, PyCharm, ex uh, especially for the people that are new to Python and Discord.py. So, uh, the first thing that we're going to need to do is import um, Discord. And then from Discord.extensions, import commands. So, we're basically just going to be setting up the bot here first. I'm just setting up the bot. This is, uh, if you already have your bot set up, don't worry about this part. Just for this tutorial, I'm going to do a bot dot remove, uh, remove command. So this will remove the uh, default help command because I'm going to be making essentially um, you can use embeds to make a new one if you want. That's just all that is. And then we'll do bot dot run take token. All right, let me get my token here. Copy that. Alrighty. So, bots all set up. So now we will go over a well, actually let me get a at bot dot event. Um Async def on underscore ready. This is just telling us if the bot is ready. Just do something simple like bot is ready. All right. So what we're gonna do is make a new command. So we'll do it at bot dot command, and then we will. Enter async def, and then we'll do an embed t for embed test, right? And then we'll do ctx. So this is where we're going to set up the embed. So we're going to set an, a variable. It doesn't matter what the variable's name is. Um, say embed. We'll just call it embed. That's Pretty much what everyone does so we'll do embed discord dot embed so make sure this embed is capitalized and then we'll hit enter inside of these so we'll be able to we'll, pretty much this is like the settings of it so we'll have color make sure the color has a u in it um, and then we'll do equals discord dot color make sure this color is capitalized and has a u in it and then you basically have all these colors and I'm pretty sure you can do hex codes as well, but I'm just going to do something simple like uh, dot blue, right? And then you're going to do comma, and then we'll do title equals. Don't know why. All right, yep. Title, and then we'll do test title, just for a placeholder, kind of. And then we'll do description. Oh, make sure, don't forget the commas. Description equals. This is a, is a test. All right. So that's basically setting up the title of your embed, the description of your embed, and then the color of the little sidebar. Well, you'll see that here in a minute. So, whenever you've got that up, you've just set this variable to your embed. And then you've got the, the fine settings. And then you're going to want to set up a few things. So, you're going to do the name of your variable. So, embed dot. And then you have a ton of different things you can do. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set an author. So, set underscore author. And then in here, you're going to name name equals. This is like the author name set setting. So, you're going to do author. We're just going to set it to author. Make sure you don't forget those. All right, author. And you're gonna do an icon. So you can do 
icon URLs with this as well. So I can do like icon URL equals, and you can set like a link to a picture. And I have one right here. Just to kind of show it off. Um, it's nothing insane. It's pretty funny, but um, we'll do an embed. We can also do a set image. So we can set an image right here. And we'll just do URL equals. So this differs. It does, I don't think these matter what order they're in. Uh, these. But you can see name equals author and then icon URL. That's that. And then URL for a set image. So we'll just set that to this image. Alrighty. And then we can do an embed dot set thumbnail URL equals. And we can do the same image. So what we're doing is we've set up the embed, right? And then we're setting um, we're setting different parts of the embed. So we're good, we're setting the author of the embed, the an image of the embed, the thumbnail of the embed. Alrighty. And then we can do embed dot add field. So this is like kind of where you would do, say if you ha if you're making a, a new help command, this is where you do like, say if you had like a test or like a ping uh, command, you can do slash. Uh, this is the ping command, and then you can do comma and then value equals, um, and then you do like a description. So this has the bot say pong say something like that, right? And you can do as many of these as you want, right? So you can do c copy it and then paste it. We can do like a test field, all right? Test field two. We can do something like uh, this is a a test two. All right, we can do test field uh, three, maybe. And we can do, this is a test three. So that's just to show off that you can do as many as you want. So I'm just going to do three for right now. But you can also then set maybe like a footer if you want it. So dot add footer. And then you do text. Ooh, no test, text. Equals, this is a footer. Alrighty. So what we've done here is we set up the embed. We did the the settings. We did uh, you don't these are not required by the way. So you can just get rid of these if you want, or get rid of all of these. Not required at all. So you set it up. So once that runs, it's like all right, we have an embed, but nothing set but the title, description, and the color of it. Um, and then whenever you come down here, you're setting the author, setting the image, setting the thumbnail, setting a few fields, and then setting a footer. Um, yeah, this is what your your embed is, the meat of your embed is. So after you've got that all set up, you're going to come down here and you're going to do an await statement. And then you're going to do ctx.send because we need to send this out into the Discord. So when people type this command, they get this embed, right? So ctx.send, you're not going to do anything but do an embed equals, right? So you're saying, oh, we're going to send an embed and then equals, and then you want to do the variable name of your embed so our variable our variable name is embed so we're going to send embed as an embed right that's pretty much it you can run this ready we're going to come over here and now so we're going to do embed t all right so there's a little error i put there so we instead of footer it's dot it's uh dot set underscore footer sorry about that um all right so that should fix that error we come back over here we rerun the bot all right bot is reran so we do embed t right all right so this is our embed we have author we have test title this is a test so this is the title and the description whenever we first set it up and then this is our author you uh you uh url icon and this is our thumbnail and this is our image and then you have ping this is a bot uh, this has the bot say ping, and then you have test field 2, this is test 2, and then you have test field 3, and this is test 3. So these are basically the descriptions. So you might be wondering why these are like this. So if we come back over here, 
inside of our add fields, we can do another comma and do inline, right? And we can do false, right? So this is a Boolean. You can do inline, true or false. Basically, if these are in a line, right? So you do inline, false, and then we can come down here and do inline, false. We'll rerun the bot. Come back over here. And we will retype this. All right, so you see, they're now in a line. They're not in a line. We set that to false. They're in, stacked on top of each other now. All righty. So that's the basics of this. You can do, there's one other thing. Also, here's the footer. Um, there's one other thing that I would like to show. So, say if we want another embed, but we're like, uh, I want to make a help command, right? All right, so we can do a help embed at bot dot command, right? We do pass underscore context equals true, oh, not true, and we do an async def help. CTX. Alrighty. So we made a help command and we removed it up here as you can see. And then uh, we're making a new one. We're going to make a custom one, right? So we don't want this here. We don't want this here. Right? We don't want it to send it out into the Discord. We want to get a message, right? We, we want the bot to send who requested help a message so we don't spam our Discord, right? So we're going to do, we're going to look for, we're going to, we're going to have the bot look for the author equals author, no, ctx dot message dot author, right? So this will set the author variable to the the author who asked for help so we're going to come down here and we're going to be like all right so we want an embed so th let's make this test underscore e just to show you that we it doesn't matter what this variable is called so we'll do discord dot embed and we'll do that and then we'll also just do color equals discord dot color dot We'll do orange this time. How about that? So that's all we're going to set it. I'm not going to do a title or description because it doesn't really need one. And we're only going to do color. So now that we have that, we'll do a test E. Test E. Dot add author. We'll just set an author, right? We'll do a name equals. I don't know. Um, we'll do bot prefix equals slash how about we do that so we'll just set the author to this so if people use help they know what the prefix is right and then we'll do a test e dot add field we'll add a field and we'll do name equals so let's have it so we'll do an embed t so that's one of our commands right embed t and then we'll do value equals this will this will post an embed into the discord All right and then we want to do inline equals false then say we want to do test e dot add another field here and we just want to say name equals good day kind of just as a test here cool. day we'll do value equals today is a good day all right and that's it that's all we'll do so now we have to figure out how to send this 
as a message. So as up here, you can see we're not using this variable yet. So what we'll do is we'll do in another wait statement. This is kind of like up here, but instead of sending it as a ctx.send that sends it to the Discord channel that we're, we asked for help in, we're going to do an author dot send and then we'll do embed equals test e right there we go so instead of blue we did orange we're going to rerun this because we just added a lot more code here wait for it it's going to say bot is ready there we go page down come over here okay so as you can see this is the blue part by the way We'll do slash help. Oh, we need help. Slash help. Oh, there it is. Right here. Come down here. Bot prefix equals that. Embed T. This is we'll post and embed into the Discord. Good day. Today is a good day. Right there. There we go. And then we can do embed T because we just found that out using the help command. And this will pop up. As you can see, this is blue. And then over here, this is orange. Alrighty, so that's pretty much all there is to embeds. Um, there's a few more fields here um, that you can get on the documentation. I'll leave a link to that part in the documentation. Yeah, there's a few, few more of these that you can get, um, but not many. So, uh, yep, that's, there, that's all there is. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below, or you can join the Discord that I have in the description. A lot of people there, um, we all enjoy helping each other, it's fine. If you're a noob, doesn't matter. Come on, say hi, whatever. So, yep, and there'll also be a link to uh, download the video code in the description if you want to take a look at this. Alrighty, I'll see you guys in the next one.